Hello and welcome to uh, Bodhi's uh, second week here with a uh, top 10 what's of the week. Mixed bag this week, it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's get started here. With number 10, I noticed this actually today. Machine wash, warm, normal. Wash with light colors. Do not bleach. Tumble dry. Low with clean tennis balls. Dry thoroughly. What? Tumble dry low with clean tennis balls. Why have I never noticed this before? This is on a pillow. What the, what the hell? I don't get it. But that's number 10. Number 9. Uh, this brings us to an interesting argument. Uh, if, if you want to trigger uh, ANCAPs, the best way is to form a nihilist argument. And that's exactly what we saw here. All it all it was, Andrew uh, Racinger, uh, just I'll, I'll, that was his post. Little will trigger ant caps more than a good old fashioned nihilist argument. Boom! Literally, people people are just they come out of the woodwork. I hate nihilism more than I hate communism. Lol. <laughs> Existentialism. Wow. Uh, like everybody's just proving the point that it's it's <laughs> very triggering for some people words and stuff ridiculous number eight this is another great trigger before european christians force gender roles native americans acknowledge five genders this was just an article i posted it said interesting holy crap people freaked out people freaked out i even got into the argument of uh the law of identity to which I actually kind of detonated it with the value of zero. But that's a different story. Uh, I don't actually cover it this week. But yeah. It wasn't always two genders. People acknowledged it very differently. Uh, it's very interesting how triggering that was. Uh, and this guy. This guy. It uh, just made a mutualist argument. And... Uh, Basically, this guy makes a bunch of assumptions saying we made assumptions and implied things that the original article didn't. How do you imply... How does an article imply... How do, I read the article perfectly clear. Blah, 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 blah. Did you miss the part where he endorsed violence? It's like, how does... He permits coercion. How does anything permit anything? It doesn't make sense. Joshua Fox, you 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 were triggered by what I thought was a rather interesting article, and you got the number seven slot. Congratulations. You obviously didn't understand, buddy. Number six. This is a great story. It took me a second to uh, actually understand. One of the strangest ghost ship stories ever. It sailed the seas unmanned for 38 years. Basically, it got... Uh, Stuck in the ice, and uh, the crew got off the boat, made a camp, and uh, temperatures went from negative like 60 to zero overnight. And in the middle of the blizzard, they lost the ship, and it just kind of um, sailed the oceans for 38 years. That happens. Interesting stuff. <laughs> uh, and number five, this guy gives absolutely no fucks. Watch this. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, a little backstory, I guess. Um, this is in Russia, I believe. And this guy may have been involved. He might have been the perpetrator. He might have been the one that set this up. But you'll watch. Everything's normal. And now this weird mass crew come in. And shit goes crazy. Watch him. Watch him in the middle. Brings us to number four. 
Hackers set off all 156 emergency sirens in Dallas. Poor Justin here. To what end? What could you possibly get out of trying to create mass panic? What's the point? The lulls, buddy. The lulls. The lulls. I think that's fucking hilarious. I couldn't find an audio clip. I would have... I want to hear what that sounds like because uh, it tied up the emergency lines. Everybody was freaking out. Oh, man. That must have been fantastic. Love it. Good job, Anon. Uh, which brings us to number three. Frank Zundo. This was just, I was just stumbling around Facebook and I found this. Some guy tagged this chick. And uh, he got Frank Zundo'd. He got Frank Zundo'd hard. Just being friend zoned. I love it. I love you, lol. That's great. Love you too, friend. Doesn't that burn? Oh, it burns. What? What is that? How does this happen on Facebook still? Holy shit. I couldn't believe it. Which brings us to number two. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe this. Competing construction companies. They duke it out with their excavators. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> I can't believe it, man. Look at that. He gets flipped. And now watch, his buddy's gonna come in. I think she tries to pick him up, right? What the fuck is going through these people's heads? What is worth that? Uh, uh, here's another angle. Just... Uh, I don't get it. Uh, there's a nice plug. Uh, and then this brings us to number one. And this, this blows my fucking mind. Tuesday's gas attacks uh, were a reason for Trump's response to launch airstrikes against Syria. We launched an airstrike against the same town that we were fucking pissed about getting gassed. Think about that. The people he used as justification for intervention... He goes and blows up. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is wrong with... This doesn't... Like, I, I, even to get into it even more, people are saying that the gas attacks were faked because um, first responders weren't using gloves or whatever, but they had masks. And a lot of people don't understand sarin gas. Um, and I'll just break it down really quick. It's developed as originally, uh, I think, by the Nazis, as a, uh, or at least in Germany, before the Nazis. Uh, it's tricky. But as a pesticide. Uh, and development as a weapon, it was used as a pre-assault weapon or as a defensive weapon. Basically, it's meant to dissipate quickly. So uh, essentially, you can handle post sarin attack without gloves the the major issue is getting it in your lungs which is why they only had masks just just putting that out there do a little research before you start spreading the fake 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 news because um i think personally this is way more fucked up even if it was faked we blew up the same fucking town that we were mad about a Quote, unquote, Assad, who has nothing to gain, by the way, by attacking his own people at this point. Um, well, what do we have to get? Well, what, 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 how are we helping by blowing them up? Stop blowing them up! Crap, man. That's my number one of the week, because it fucking blows my mind. Oh. Man. Well, tune in next week. Hopefully shit's not as fucked up. Thanks for watching. Peace, love, and stop bombing people.